Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with oven-dried San Marzano tomatoes. You know, at the risk of losing foodie street cred, I'm going to admit I hate sun-dried tomatoes. They taste like medicine. They're bitter. I don't like them. But what I do like is these, which are very similar but far superior in my humble opinion. So as luck would have it, I found some fresh San Marzano tomatoes at my local produce market. Uh, these are not from Italy, of course. The real San Marzano are from Italy. But these are grown from San Marzano seeds here in Northern California. And the San Marzano is considered the sort of king of the plum tomato. Make a great tomato sauce. But what I'm going to do here is cut them in half lengthwise. And then you probably want to take out the seeds. There's not many. You can just use your fingers. Sometimes I'll just tap it against the uh, cutting board when I cut them and they usually fall right out except you know not that one all right so I'm going to take the seeds out only takes a second I'm going to grab a baking dish and line it with lots of fresh thyme because I have a garden and you should have some herbs planted you know I'm always lecturing you about that grow some thyme it's so lovely by the way yes that is a weed there which I took out so don't worry a little piece of clover all right so I placed the San Marzano's on top cut side up of course Drizzled them with some extra virgin olive oil and then a very healthy dose of sea salt. Now, not only is that going to flavor them, of course, it's also going to draw out the water and help these get that beautiful texture I'm after. All right, those are going to go in a 450 degree oven for about 15 minutes. Now, these were kind of small. If you're using regular plum tomatoes, it might be 20 minutes. But basically, we're going to cook them in a really hot oven for 15 20 minutes and at that point they're gonna look like this but don't touch them they're very fragile you'll totally mush them and wreck them what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn off the heat we're gonna pop them back in the oven and let them sit there for like three hours just let the oven cool down just let them sit there they're gonna slowly dry out and they're gonna look like this which kind of looks like sun-dried tomatoes but they taste so much better all right they are kind of leathery but they're still very moist very succulent, and they just have a, I don't know, a sweeter, deeper, richer flavor than the sun-dried tomatoes you get in the jar. To store these, I just stuck them in a mason jar, poured over some olive oil, just for looks, put in one of those thyme sprigs, and that's it. That'll keep like a week in the fridge, although you will probably use it before then because they are incredibly delicious. You can use it for pasta, of course, salads, sandwich spreads. Here I just grilled a piece of bread, spread it with goat cheese, topped it with these sliced tomatoes, little fresh chive. That was amazing. So anyway, just a little quick trick. You can do this with regular plum tomatoes. You don't have to find San Marzano. Although if you go check the farmer's market these days, you might, you might see some. All right, but if you can't, use regular plum tomatoes. Those should work just fine. And of course, all the ingredients are on the site. Although, you know, if you need an ingredient list for this recipe, you, you may have issues. But anyway, go to the site, check it out anyway. And as always, enjoy. Enjoy.